Hello and welcome to Tech Deals. Today I have something very cool to show you. This is MSI's RX 6800 XT Gaming Trio X. This is a custom cooled card. It's not the Founders and Reference Edition. Yes, they remain very hard to find as of the recording of this, just before the end of the new year in 2020. But I'm gonna take this out of the box today. I'm going to give it a tour, talk about its features. I will talk about its price relative to the reference card. I will show you the various details of this, but I will not do a full review here. That is for a future video. So if you've come here wanting to know overclocking potential and how it compares to the reference card and noise and other tests, this is not the right video for you. But if you'd like a quick, short, for me, look at a very cool video card, then you've come to the right place. At several points during this video, we're going to be switching to that overhead camera right there. We're still working out the kinks in our unboxing video setup. It is a work in progress. Suggestions and thoughts are definitely welcome. Now, I'm going to talk about this some more, but you guys don't want to hear me talk for five minutes before I open this thing. Instead, you'd like to see me open it and then talk about it, probably. This is a very large box. It's a very heavy box, actually. 16 gigabytes of VRAM, GDDR6X, PCI Express Gen 4, two gigahertz sustained game boost. Set that right there. 2.2 gigahertz maximum boost. And from what I hear, very good overclocking potential. Go ahead and turn this this way so the camera overhead can get it. What we probably should do, as a side note, is actually have a directly overhead camera. This is only the third time we've used this unboxing setup for filming, so it's, like I said, very, very much a work in progress. MSI always includes these folders, which we'll take a look at what's inside right here. It's, I'm sure it's all very exciting. MSI Graphics Card Quick Users Guide. Now, this is actually pretty cool. There's QR codes you can scan here. Dragon Center introduction. I will talk about the Dragon Center a bit more when we get into it, but um, MSI's Dragon Center is actually pretty good. This is in 27 languages, probably. A fold-out pamphlet showing you... Holy... <laughs> Let's take a look here. English... Uh, that's German, French, is that Russian? I have no idea what that is. Polish, Portuguese, Spanish, is that Turkish? Okay, I'm not even going to guess. What are these languages? You know, leave a comment in the comment section below if you can identify even a portion of these languages. It is... Wow, half of these aren't even written with letters. I mean, it's fine, but I don't, uh, my goodness. Okay, so this just says package contents and uh, how to use a screwdriver, which if you've gotten to this part of the video, I hope you know how to use a screwdriver. We're going to file this in a very important spot. Right. Thank you for choosing an MSI product. This product was made with great passion and we hope you could enjoy it. Please register your product. Yeah, well, you know, it never hurts. Learn more about MSI, made for gamers and creators. This is more advertising. Immerse GH50, your ultimate game in, your ultimate companion in game. 40 millimeter drivers, virtual 7.1 surround sound. That's a headset. A clutch mouse. You know, if you want a matching setup, they've got monitors, cases. We actually just did a build in a MSI case. They've got uh, motherboards, obviously, and a bunch of other stuff. I will file this in the important filing cabinet right over here. 
MSI installation guide. Didn't we just do that? Graphics card support bracket. Okay, now this is interesting. The graphics card support bracket supports the graphics card, which sounds ridiculous, but it, what it looks like is it's a re Oh, okay, so you mount this. Here, I'll hold this so the overhead can see it. You mount this in the slot below the video card and it holds up the weight so it reduces the sag so the, the video card doesn't sag down as far. I've used vertical support mounts before that were built into the case. In the Cooler Master Master Maker 5T build that I did back in 2017 with the um, Asus Crosshair Hero 6 motherboard and a Ryzen 7 1700, we still have that build, by the way. Uh, Rogue uses that at home with a Ryzen 5 3600X in it. There is a vertical mount that's actually on the case that you can raise and lower and screw in, and it, and it supports the video card. These modern video cards, after a year or two, develop real sag to them. That's cool. I'll actually, we'll save that. True gaming. How to upgrade your PC with a new graphics card. Hardware and software installation guide. You know, the little dragon thing that they have, is hold this up to the front camera this is really cute this is oh it's a comic upgrading your graphics card is actually really easy hopefully this guide will help you to feel confident about installing a new graphics card even if it's your very first time so it's the baby dragon or the kid dragon i don't know how to choose the right graphics card for my pc don't panic join the msi upgrade journey with me and he's pointing to the sky being very heroic before you start getting ready for the journey, the first thing you should do is check your current hardware information, power supply, and size of your case. MSI provides an easy upgrade guide for you to choose the right graphics card, and they provide a QR code for you to scan. And look, the dragon is sitting there at the computer. This is, okay, I know you guys didn't come here to watch this, but they put real effort. This is really, really cool. I should not be this impressed by this, but I am. And then that's empty. I'll stick that down there. Taking off the foam, we... <laughs> oh, you know what? This is interesting. Dear Editor, we proudly present to you our new MSI Radeon RX 6800 XT Gaming X Trio 16 gigabyte graphics card. I'm not even exaggerating. You can see right there, that's the name. We know you're very busy, and to make your life a little easier, here are a few points and links to help you write your review. A link to MSI Dragon Center, a link to MSI Afterburner, and a link to the uh, Radeon RX 6000 series info kit. And then it gives the basic details of, oh, great, I can just read talking points and not actually have to do anything. MSI's exclusive Dragon Center, now this is true. We have used the Dragon Center software on two different machines. The uh, recent build that we did with an MSI case and motherboard, the fans were a bit loud, and we installed MSI Dragon Center, and we hit Tune, where it spins the fans up and down, and it learns the curve, and you can adjust the fan speed in Windows. It actually works really well. So I don't usually like motherboard software, but the MSI Dragon Center software was pretty nice because it made it really easy to adjust fan speeds high and low and make either the system really cool or make it really quiet. MSI's exclusive Dragon Center software helps you get the most out of your MSI products, monitor, tweak, and optimize in real time with just a few clicks. That's true. Mystic Light included. Mystic Light gives you complete control of the RGB lighting for both MSI devices and compatible third-party RGB products. That is true. And then MSI Afterburner needs no explanation. I've been using it for years. And then here they just list some of the features, the Torx Fan 4.0, whatever that means, built on teamwork with pairs of fan blades bound together with a linked outer ring design that focuses airflow into the updated Trifroser 2 cooling system. Core pipe, precision machine for maximum contact over the GPU and spreads the heat along the full length of the heat sink for optimal cooling. Airflow control, deflectors provide additional surface area and guide air to where it is needed. Wave curved 2.0 all sounds very impressive. Graphene backplate, four times stronger than a plastic backplate. Interesting. So it has a composite graphene backplate as opposed to a plastic one. You know, if you're buying a premium top of the line video card, 
buying the entry level usually doesn't make a lot of sense because you want a premium card. Zero Frozer, the calm before the storm. Now this feature has been on their video cards for years. Most decent video cards have them. Basically what it means is when the temperature is low enough, the fans stop and the card is completely silent. And a custom PCB, anti-bending strap, and so on and so forth. Well, that's all very exciting. You guys will not get this in your box, but MSI sent this to me. So thank you, MSI. Let's take a look at the bracket support first. This, we will use our unintentionally AMD and MSI themed box cutter to open this. Just happens to be the one I have here. Ah, I will put this plastic in the very important round file. So this is what you install below the video card. And there is, that's nice. There's actually a rubber mount there. So you rest the video card against that. It provides a gap for airflow. This screws into your case. And then this screws into the same place that your video card does and acts as a support. You know what? I think we'll use that. Three years ago, I did a build using an MSI uh, GTX 1080 Ti Duke. It's the triple fan Duke, non-RGB, very nice card, in my $2,000 Cadillac build featuring an i7-8700K. Now, I recently did a deconstruction of that. We took it apart. I still have that MSI card. It's not straight anymore. After three years of being installed in my case, the card has a noticeable sag to it. The card is bent now. And it's never going back the other way again. So we will we will hang on to that for sure. What else is in here? Oh, uh, this is... These are 3M strips? Why are these for this? Maybe additional? They're not the right height. They don't match that. I don't know. Interesting. And then I think we have what's called the main event. We'll take some of this supporting plastic out. Drum roll, please. Oh my goodness. That is... <laughs> I need to get a scale for this, uh, for these unboxings. This thing is insane. <laughs> That's definitely very heavy. Now, I don't have a reference 6800 XT to hold up and show you. I do have a reference 6800 non-XT, but it's not the same cooler, it's not the same size, so it'd be pointless. This is... Wow. That is heavy. Take this out of the way. Hold this up so the camera can get a nice shot of it. Can we do a single peel? Probably not. I'm not usually very good at these peels. But we'll try. I need a close-up microphone for the ASMR peel. Oh. You know, either that was the most luckiest peel ever in the history of peeling or that has been removed and reapplied. Because that, not that it matters, but that, uh, that, that was way too easy to come off. I, this, does this look? I don't know. Did they, did they take it off and reapply it? This has somebody else's fingerprints on it. It is a product sample from the manufacturer. Do be aware, they almost certainly test these before they send them out. I don't think they usually send us blind parts. I know both AMD and Intel test the CPUs before they send them to us. I've seen thermal paste left on the chips when we get them. So most of these companies do test the stuff before we, before, we, uh, before we get it. Just be aware of that. Does that mean they're golden samples? I don't know. I don't think so but I don't know. Just be aware, I will always tell you when they're review samples. 
I try to use retail stuff when I can. But when a company like MSI wants to send me a beauty like this, I'm not going to say no because this is a... Man, this thing is... Look at this. Look at this backplate. I'll just hold this up to the overhead camera here. That is... Uh... Yeah, that's definitely not plastic. It's not metal, but they're not lying about that being some sort of composite material. Hold this up here. You can see we've got three display ports and one HDMI. That is an HDMI 2.1, it is worth noting. And the display ports are 1.4 with display stream compression. That's actually hard to hold up. We will get some B-roll footage of this and then uh, XD, our video editor, will insert it here at some point so you can see some close-up shots of both sides of this card. Radeon RX 6800 XT Gaming X Trio 16 gigabytes. There are two 8-pin PCI Express power connectors. There are one, two, three, four, five heat pipes running all the way through. And I'm, I'm, I'm not even going to try to hold this up and give you some really close looks, but this thing is thick as a beast. It's about two and a half card slots thick. So if we were to take our graphics card support bracket and mount it, it looks like it goes just about there. And it looks like it actually sits right here on the card. Whether or not you like that is a personal preference, but clearly that's where that, this, this is, I can imagine this sitting in your computer only held in by the PCI Express slot and only screwed in via the, the plate here. This should really be a triple thick plate. That is, I would get tired of holding this after a minute. Are graphics cards becoming too big? Are they becoming so big that they're just unreasonable at this point? Well, I guess we want more graphics performance and they have to keep giving us more amazing. I leave that as an exercise for you guys to decide. Um, I'm going to leave you here with uh, some additional footage that our editor is going to film of this card. And as a bit of a teaser, I am going to give you a benchmark with MSI's very own afterburner numbers on the screen, so you can take a look at this. A more comprehensive review of this card with more details will be coming in the future. I literally received this card yesterday, and I wanted to go ahead and film something and get it out, show off the card, talk about it, and at least give you a little bit of a tease as to its performance. I will definitely follow this up, and we'll be doing a full review on it and be comparing it to the RTX 3080 video card very soon. If you like this video, well then you know what to do. Give this video a thumbs up, give it a like, be sure you're subscribed to our channel, leave a comment down below, either to let me know what you think or perhaps just for the uh, uh, engagement numbers for YouTube. I will link to this specific card on Amazon and Newegg, and of course I will also link to all of the various cards from this line down there below as well. As of the filming of this video, we're recording this in the last couple of days between Christmas and New Year's in 2020. These are all thoroughly out of stock. You're just not going to find them anywhere. And so when you watch this video, you may very well be tempted to say, what are you doing? You're showing us a video card we can't buy. Yeah, I know, but hopefully you guys find this interesting. They will become in stock soon. Next couple of weeks, next month, they will come. And with 16 gigabytes of VRAM and really impressive performance, I am excited to test this and compare it to the NVIDIA green team side of things and see how well it does. Thank you so much for watching. I will see all of you next time.